What up, tubers? How y'all doing? Basically, this video is just an introduction, an introduction of uh, me, myself, who I am for you, how can I benefit you, how can I help you in any way possible. I mean, the purpose of these videos is to help me help you and also to help myself. I mean, obviously, if you know I'm doing these videos, I can't be a hypocrite of what I stands for stand for you know I don't want I want I don't want to do that to nobody you know if I preach something I want to live by it and die by it you know what I'm saying like this is me I wouldn't tell you to do some shit that I'm not capable of doing why would you do that to people you know and then people call you out on that shit why would you want to be called out on some shit you know then the day you want to be real and authentic so the whole purpose of me of uh creating these videos is to to benefit you and to benefit me as well, you know, like I said, I got to live by a certain standard. I got to hold myself accountable to what I say, you know, and if I do, if I don't, then at the same time, I got to be willing to let y'all know, like, hey, I'm human. Shit happens. You know, that wasn't my goals or my attention and, you know, be able to backtrack. You know, some people don't know how to apologize correctly or backtrack correctly. It is what it is. It's, we live in a world where people are fake hypocrites, phony, people are scared to expose themselves. That's another thing I have to do, you know. In order for y'all to really believe me, I have to expose myself. And it is what it is. I'm I'm not saying I'm ready for it, but I'm going to do it, you know. So, you know, basically it's an introduction to me. And then how you help me is, you know, your comments, your comments, your, 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 your emails. You know, it's nothing really than getting an email from Jack Off, Jack Off, you know, one, two, three, quick, easy, and he's telling me this and that, or Beer Lover 85, and he's telling me this and that, or fucking Amy the Cat Lover, and that bitch telling me, like, yeah, you can't do this or that, that, and you know, I'll take it, you'll take it, just like any other human being, I'll take anything in consideration, but it doesn't mean I'm applied by that shit, I'm my own person, I'll never let a motherfucker tell me what I can and can't do. That's just the rules. You can't, you know. Who the fuck gonna tell me what I can and can't do? First of all, I don't like that word can't. That shit get on my nerves when motherfuckers tell you you can't do something. That's the first one of the rules I go by in life, you know. It's a lot of rules I go by, but can't? Motherfucker, how you gonna tell me I can't do something that I'm already doing? You see what I'm saying? Never let nobody tell you what you can't. Maybe they can't do it. But that don't mean I can't. I remember uh, leaving my building and I was parked on the side and this bitch gonna tell me, you can't park there. What you mean I can't park there? Bitch, I'm already parked there. Are you out your marbles? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is crazy when people tell you can't do. Don't ever let nobody tell you what you can't do. It might be wrong, it might be right. You know, it's their way to tell you professionally, like, hey, can't, this, 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 this this can't go on, you know what I'm saying? You can't do it, it's like that and that. But it don't tell me what I can't do. I already know what I can and can't do. Just just tell me how, you know what I'm saying, what I'm doing wrong and, and shit with the rules. Explain it to me. Either I'm going to agree to the shit or not, but you're not going to tell me what I can't do. You know, you, you, motherfuckers tell you, you can't you make a U-turn. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to, but shit, if I do it, it's real. And then, you know, it's consequences and repercussion. Obviously, I must have been willing to deal with them I did in the first place. So, you know, I don't want to go off the topic, but like I said, it's an introduction to me. You know, basically, every video goal is to inform, educate, and entertain. You know, entertainment is the shit that make you laugh, you know, the shit that... You watch and you applaud or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just entertainment. Yeah, everybody know what entertainment is. Inform is, you know, warnings, you know. Fucking tornadoes are coming. Fucking um, hurricanes are coming. The fucking Trojans are coming, you know. That's information, you know. They inform you of something. You know, I like, I like to be informed as well. You know, obviously, the internet took over and shit like... Um, before when you was informed, you had to watch the news. I don't even watch the news no more. I don't have to. You know, if I need a weather report, boom, it's an app for that, you know. But uh, I still like to watch the news here and there because at the end of the day, shit, those weather girls be real, you know. I like who informing me. So, you know, from time to time, I still fucking watch the news. But other than that, there's no need to watch the news no more, you know. Information is right there on your fucking phone, you know. It's an app for that. 
You have entertainment under on your app. You have fucking information right there. Everything you need. The news is right there. Even the news have fucking apps, you know? So I don't have to tune in to WGN, CBS at a certain time, you know, the morning, afternoon, and night news no more. I don't have to do that. The internet's right there. The videos are right there. And then obviously, you know, education's simple, you know? You don't know how to do something. I don't know how to fucking tie a tie. Go to YouTube, look how to tie a tie. The motherfucker said right over left, left over right, boom, 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 bam. Might not be perfect, but hell, it gets me the job, get me the interview, get me the job, and I'm boom. I knew how to tie a tie somewhat, you know? So that's the whole purpose of fucking videos, you know? And that's my whole purpose for you, you know? And then, like I said, at the same time, I benefit from it as well, you know? I would never put out nothing that I can't benefit from as well, so... Anyways, reason why I decided to do this is because, you know, I've, I've been trying to benefit myself and, and I've been thinking of ways. How can I benefit myself? And, you know, t doing research and coming across this, it's, it's been like five years, you know. I mean, as a teenager, you don't learn everything that you're supposed to learn as a teenager. It takes time, you know. So now that I'm at my age now, I realize certain things. I wish I could have realized it earlier, but hey, that's why I'm teaching you. Hopefully you can learn this shit at 21, 22 and about the time you in your thirties, should it be real? But you know, it took me a while to learn all this shit. So now I figured it out. You know, I'm trying to better myself in every aspect, and you know, in every aspect I try to uh, better myself. It comes down to what I call the three pillars of life, and basically, the three pillars of life is mental, physical, and financial. Mental is at the top. It's like a triangle. Mental is at the top. Nothing's above mental. Everything you do, it starts mentally. You know what I'm saying? Everything starts mental. Physical and then uh, financial is at the bottom, you know? And nobody can be 100% at any of these, you know? At any of it. If you is, you fucking God or something. But at the same time, you, you, can't, you can't be like close to 100% and mental, and then like 10 and financial and physical, if you're talking about percentage-wise out of 100. Because if you lack at one, you're going to lack at something else. You see what I'm saying? Let's say, uh, let's take people for example, you know. Let's take uh, the wrestler, Chris Benoit. He was a physical dude, you know. Financially, I'm pretty sure he was sad. I don't know his whole information, but he was a superstar. He was a celebrity, you know. He had income's good, but mentally something wasn't there, you know. Obviously, people want to get into steroids. I'll talk about steroids on another topic, on another video. But, yeah, people want to talk about steroids and, you know, it made him crazy. So, mentally, he wasn't there and that's the results, you know. Um, who else? We could talk. Michael Jackson, you know, talented motherfucker. You know, one of the best entertainers of all time, hands down. So, we take Michael Jackson. I don't think he was there 100% mentally. He was going through shit. You know, I can't verify none of this shit. I'm telling you, this is just me assuming. You know, I can't tell you he was there 100% mentally. But physically, he wasn't there. He was sick. He was ill, obviously. The shit that went on with his doctor, he trusted his doctor. You know, I don't rumors had he wasn't there financially. But let's take him at his peak. He was there in his peak financially, you know. And look what happened, self-destruction. I mean, anytime you lack in one of these pillars that I call, you, you're going to lack and it's going to it's gonna show overall across the board, you know. You you got to better yourself in every way for those. That's, those are the three pillars that you have to live by. And I can break them down for you later. I mean, this is just an introduction. I'm trying to get through this real quick as possible. I don't want a fucking hour video, you know, long, but uh. All right, so in this introduction, I want to talk about me a little, you know. Um, I've been going through shit all my life, you know. I, I, I'm not, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't have two, two parents that was in my life consistently. It is what it is, you know. You get through it, you, go, you grow up, you realize who you are as a person, and you, you survive. That's what we have to do as people. We have to survive. We're survivors. You can't stop life until life stops, you know? You can't stop living your life until life stops. So with that in mind, shit, you got to keep going. You know, the best way to get through hell is to keep going, you know? So 
with that being said, you know, I've been through a lot of shit. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm not scared to say that shit. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I was born in Inglewood, one of the rough neighborhoods, and one of the roughest neighborhood. Probably is the roughest neighborhood in Chicago. Derrick Rose from the Chicago ex Chicago Bulls player was from there. And it's not a beautiful sight. Parents moved me out of there, got me the fuck out of there. It is what it is. But at the same time, I still had to face certain obstacles that. Well, I could say can't know anybody work walk in my shoes. So anyways, you know, my goal is to always better myself based on the three pillars, you know, physically, financially, and mentally. Mentally, I'm not 100%. Like I said, can't nobody want it, but I'm better than ever. Financially, and then physically, you know, you got to ask yourself. But it's always room to improve in any aspect, you know, even mentally. That's why I'm doing this shit, because the more knowledge I gain, the better I can benefit myself, you know, and improve mentally, you know. But yeah, physically, like I wanna get in better shape. I'm not I'm not no big fat dude. I'm very mobile, you know, but I'm five ten and two sixty five. So at that weight, you know, you wanna ask yourself, five ten, two sixty five. I'm a solid guy. You know, muscle, I go to the gym, I work out. A lot of people can't do what I do at the gym. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I know, you know, when I go to the gym, I'm not I'm not the guy that's benching 135. I curl that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the guy that's fucking deadlifting two plates. I throw that shit over my head. You see what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, when I go to the gym and people see the shit that I do, they ask, like, how do you do that? How do you do this? Why do you do that? Why do you do this? You know, I'm a, I'm a helpful person. But I, I can't keep helping people and it don't benefit me. What's the purpose behind it? The best people in life find out how to help people, but also help themselves in the process, you know? So I figure like, man, fuck this. Next time a motherfucker asks me how to do something, hand out a fucking business card. Check my YouTube page. Do this, do that. Let me own my own fucking gym first. You know, I'm not finna keep helping you motherfuckers getting free advice. And you know what I'm saying? I'm turning you motherfuckers into fucking alpha males. And, and you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers just give me a fucking thank you? Nah, hell nah. Fuck all that. So my goal is to fucking teach people how to be better people. But at the same time, check a bag off the shit. You know, it's a lot of information that people don't know that I know. And I, it can help them. Excuse me for a second. This I'm finna go to the gym, by the way, real soon. Just in case you don't know, this is some tart cherry juice. Good shit. Also, since this is an introduction, I'm not good with nigga names. I'm not gonna give you motherfuckers my real name. It is what it is. I don't it's not that I don't trust you, I'm scared. I'm gonna talk about some shit that's gonna make a lot of motherfuckers mad. Cause people always be in their feelings about shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but people always be in their feelings about shit. So I know motherfuckers gonna be in their feelings. It's okay. So I'm not gonna give you my motherfuckers my real name. If you know me, you put that shit out, it gets out, whatever, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Come see me. But uh, I go by the name, nickname of D3. How it happened easily at work. You know what I'm saying? I was working or whatever. I showed up, boom. I'm the third person with my fucking name. I got a common fucking name, I guess. So, you know, these motherfuckers lazy. They just call me D3. I'm the third motherfucker. So, you know, motherfuckers be like, damn, you just gonna allow motherfuckers call you D3? Hell yeah, you know. I embrace this shit. I love this shit. I actually sustained it. You know what I'm saying? I actually approved of it, and I wanted to sustain it. And the reason why is because anybody know who the fuck D3 is? You know what D3 is? D3, motherfucker. This shit ain't, that shit ain't no anything, you know? It's a, it's one of the top vitamins and minerals you could take, you know what I'm saying, that's natural, you know? It's definitely something you need. So D3, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's real. So I, I go by that name. D3 is cool, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to come in and ask me who the fuck I am, D3. D3 to the world, motherfucker. Um, a little bit about myself, like I said, I'm trying to benefit myself physically, physically, just no mean, just like 
you know what I'm saying, strength and all that shit. I mean, look at me. I'm talking to you right now, and I got fucking pimples on my face and shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I mean, like I said, I'm going to expose myself. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I, I could have cleaned the shit up last night, but I'm like, I'm going to do this video, and I don't want to be clean. I mean, dudes don't put on, put on no fucking makeup. I want to be. I want to show you motherfuckers who I am at my worst versus who I am at my best so you can see the difference. You know what I'm saying? You know? So right now, I'm pretty much close to my worst. You know what I'm saying? Also, shit, what else you can prove on? I can prove on physically. Financially as well, obviously. I'm a fucking teeth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the best teeth in the world. It is what it is. Motherfucking dermatologist and dentist, a dentist gonna collect off my ass. It is what it is. But hey, like I said, you got to improve yourself based on the three pillars, physically, financially, and mentally. Everything starts mentally. You know, everything. I can't really help you on mental. The only thing I can do is say shit that's going to help you get confidence and knowledge like this where you feel like, you know, the first thing you have to do is you have to recognize the problem. You being the problem, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you can't recognize the problem, then what's the purpose of me telling you? You think you okay. No, you not. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here to help. You know, when like my main audience are guys. Because guys really don't get shit. You know what I'm saying? I think women understand shit a lot more than men. And no, nah, that ain't me being no sucker beta male or nothing. Fuck that. I'm just being honest, you know. Guys tend to like fucking think, you know, we get money or we do this. And you know what I'm saying? Our whole purpose of life as a male is women. You know what I'm saying? If if there was no women, we'd probably be all out here beating dick somewhere. And then, like, once we done beating all fucking, like, wrestling and shit or competing and shit. And that's it, you know? Our whole purpose of life is behind women. You want, you either you want to fuck a lot of hoes, go through women, or either you want the good girl that you can marry and build a family with. Or you might want both, you know, in younger stage, you know, older stage, you know, whatever you want. But everything, your sole purpose is like, is behind women. You know, women help motivate you to be better. You know, and then obviously behind being a want, be, be, uh, <clears throat> excuse, behind wanting women or seeking that one woman, you should just want to better yourself, period. You know what I'm saying? Like when I go to the gym, it's nothing better than getting results and gains. That shit excites me. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm running out of time. I don't want to keep going on and on. Like I said, I keep making videos and shit. This is just an introduction. Another introduction about, you know what I'm saying, besides the three pillars that I'll be talking about, be uh, you, yourself, your brand. Your brand is who you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this Coca-Cola shit right now. This shit is for a reason. I ain't wear this shit to the fucking match. I wore this shit for the video. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, when you think about brands, you think of Microsoft, Apple, Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Under Armour, et cetera, et cetera. You know, Xbox, PlayStation 3. We can go on on that. D3 fucking brand, you know? But uh, your brand is everything who you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be who you make, what, what makes you you, you know? How people recognize you, how people perceive you, your brand, how you come off, you know? And, and you got to improve your brand, you know, you got to improve you. And that's crucial, you know, like everything I'm telling you today is about self-improvement. And when you self-improve yourself, you will see like the results you can get in this world. You prepare for a lot of shit, you know, you prepare for almost anything. And, and sometimes you don't have to prepare for nothing because it's going to come easy for you, natural. That's what you want everything in life to come natural. Like I said, my most my, my main audience is going to be guys. And women can benefit from my videos too as well because at the end of the day, once I'm done talking about training these motherfucking dudes how to be real men and how to be real guys, you're going to know what men to go after, what man to pursue, what type of guy to go after. So it's it's not, I don't want the feminist movement coming at me like, man, why are you always talking about dudes and, and trying to expose us? I'm, psh, not, that ain't my goal. I have no problem with the feminist movement. To a certain degree, yeah, I have my belief that it's a contradiction, but I have no problem with nothing, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, my goal is, man, I'm trying to make strong, dominant, fucking alpha male men, you know, not these fucking beta blue pill ass dudes, fucking red pill 
dominant, strong man. You know what I'm saying? Neo didn't take no fucking blue pill, man. And neither she you. That's his Viagra, motherfucker. And you need it. So, you know, with that being said, I'm almost at 20 minutes. I'm going to leave it short like that. And then you can tune in tomorrow later.